Newly released body camera video gives us a better idea of what led to an indictment against East Cleveland police officers. Yesterday, we told you how four officers were indicted on multiple charges that includes assault and tampering with evidence. This all surrounds two police chases. Because of these allegations, the FBI announced they've set up a hotline seeking tips from you, the public, on corruption and civil rights violations from East Cleveland Police. News 5's Clay Lepard has the latest. It's the difference between police reports and what body camera video shows that has four East Cleveland police officers indicted for how they handled two traffic stops over a two month stretch earlier this year. Get out of the car! March 31st police pursuit video shows how investigators say officers Kyle Wood, Daniel Toomer, Brian Stoll, and Tyler Munson worked together to falsely report how a driver resisted arrest. I will shoot you! The body cam shows officers drag a man out of his car with his hands up and then misled dispatchers about what happened. While well, getting this male out of the car, uh, he did assault one of our officers. Then on April 10th, those same four officers said the driver in this case hit a police cruiser during a pursuit. However, body camera video shows it was an officer who hit the driver's car. Immediately after, that driver can be seen holding his hands up before officers pulled him out of the car and hit him on the ground. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! The indictment against officers Wood and Toomer, on top of the additional charges against Munson and Stoll, add to a list of indicted officers in East Cleveland. These four, along with Chief Scott Gardner, all remain suspended without pay. While indictments remain against former officers Vaughn Harris, DeMarco Johnson, Alfonso Cole, and Willie Warner Sims. Their cars bear decals that read rebuilding East Cleveland together. However, with more officers facing criminal charges, those here in East Cleveland say rebuilding took a large step backwards. Years ago, Walter Melton Sr. made it his mission it need to, be here. to help clean up the streets of East Cleveland forming Save Our Sons. Transferring the trust gonna be hard right now. A mission only made harder with a negative spotlight shining even brighter on his city. Young kids was already taught growing up, don't trust the police. So this right now really put a real setback to it. All four officers are set to be arraigned sometime in the near future, while Melton Sr. hopes this marks the end of corruption in East Cleveland. I want people to understand that just because of a couple Cops that did wrong don't just look to see that the whole city is in corruption. I want y'all to understand that we're on the progress of rebuilding out here in East Cleveland and just be patient. In East Cleveland, Clay Lepard, News 5. So we want to show you that FBI tip line number again. It is 216-583-5343. That's right here on your screen. We have also posted it on news5cleveland.com. That's where you can now report potential civil rights violations or concerns about public corruption in East Cleveland.